Hi, I'm Dr. Ed Feinberg. Did you know that teeth without tooth structure above the gingiva can actually be saved? It might shock you to know that you can actually save these teeth, like the one you see in the picture, without buildups, without posts, without fancy orthodontic extrusion procedures, and also without excessive periodontal crown lengthening surgery. So you could see this patient here had a fracture of the tooth below or up at the gingiva. And even if you wanted to put a post, it would be impossible because the endodontics was done with an old-fashioned silver wire technique, and you would never want to take a chance on disturbing the silver, the silver wire and causing a problem with the endodontics. But yet, I was able to make a crown for this patient, and this, these are 20-year x-rays. This crown never fell out. And not only that, but before I cemented it in permanently, I let the patient wear the crown on a trial basis with rubber, and it did not fall out. How am I able to do this? The reason I'm able to do this is because while almost every dentist focuses on tooth structure above the gingiva, I only care about what's below the gingiva. So I take advantage of all this root surface below the gingiva and above the bone. And most dentists do not do that. In fact, these are the impressions that most dentists do and that they were taught in almost every dental school, the cord and tray technique. And you could see that they don't get down very far to get a good grip on the root. Whereas I use the band technique. So I get an impression of the entire root surface below the gingiva and above the bone. As a result, my crowns have superior fit and they do not fall out. They also seal the teeth like mason jar covers, which is the best known thing ever devised for food preservation. So I almost never to get decay under my crowns. And because I'm so far below the gingiva, my margins are not visible. What's more is, I'm able to make a temporary that does not fall out. So it's very common for a patient to have an emergency where a front tooth cracks off at the gingiva. When that patient comes in, I can have that patient walk out with a tooth within 45 minutes because I use a band in order to make a temporary that fits like a permanent. So I don't have temporaries falling out either. And then I can come back and make a permanent restoration. So you could see here that my, in my permanent crown, what a great grip I have on the root below the gum. And I let this patient wear this, tempor this permanent crown on a trial basis with rubber. It did not fall out. And then I cemented in permanently. And this is five years afterwards. And you could see it looks like the day it was put in. But I also have a lot of teeth like this that support bridge work. And I don't think these are bad teeth because when I look at a patient, I only care about what's below the gingiva. I don't care about what's above the gingiva. So if there's enough root structure and the root and the bone are adequate below the gingiva, I can make d dentistry and save that patient's teeth. And that's what I did here. These are the teeth that almost every dentist today wants to extract and place implants. And while I think implants are a wonderful restoration, they are not the solution to every restorative problem. And if you could save your own teeth first, that would be better. I would have to say just about everybody I've ever met would rather save their own teeth first before considering having implants. And that's what I try to do for my patients. So here again, I made this bridge for this patient and I let the patient wear the bridge work on a trial basis with rubber, and it does not fall out. And then I cement it in permanently. And they do not require re-cementing. I've literally made a thousand of these teeth. This is, these are dyes or models of teeth flush with the gingiva. I have boxes of them that I did. And most dentists are not aware that this can be done. So what I would like for dentists to know that they can learn how to do this. It's not hard. And all the information on how to do it and the rationale behind it is on my teaching website, 
www.theonwardprogram.com. And I would like patients to know that just because one dentist can't save their teeth, maybe another one can. And they shouldn't hesitate to get a second opinion and make sure that they're doing right what's best for them. Thank you.